everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be doing a review of the Etude House Tom & Jerry collection. I got majority of the beauty related products here. These are just the packaging and the products are at the back. Anyway, I, I, I'm pretty, I pretty much got most of it except for a couple of things like the primer and you know the toothbrushes and one of the eyeshadow brushes. But most of the makeup later stuff, I managed to get my hands on them and with Tom and Jerry I had to get the whole collection because it really reminds me of my childhood. They seem so old but yeah I grew up watching Tom and Jerry so when I saw this I had to get it. Even my parents when they saw the collection they're like you used to watch that why do you have products like this here and I was like yeah this is a new release product and I just want to get them. With Tom and Jerry um, products for Etude House they try to categorize it by Tom being the cool tone and Jerry being the warm term. So we'll get started with the product reviews because we do have a lot to go through. The first one would be the lip balm. So there's two lip balms here and what I really like about this Etude House collection is that they put so much thought into the packaging, packaging itself. When I mean by that I'm not saying like it's like eco-friendly anything but it sort of is because it's like a couple of boxes but what I meant is like the detail in each of this pr packaging is just amazing it has like you know this warm orange tone has the thing um, collection name here that says lucky together and all of this packaging here shows you all the colors that you will be getting on the top as well so the first one is natural red which is like a sheer red um like a it just looks like a red tint on your lips when you apply the lip balm but it's not too pigmented so it's very very natural looking and then another one is this pure which is just like a plain white next product will be this little cute um sponge here and yeah this is the packaging the box itself it has like a case for the puff and then the puff is just a cheese puff my my puff looks really manky because I've already used it with foundation. This is actually quite dense but actually applying this with a foundation is actually not too bad like it blends out really nicely but with this sponge I would mainly use it more for like the under eye area or like just for concealer because it just blends out nicely. Using this for like the whole entire face I'm not used to it because I usually use like a cushion puff which you know I find it faster to blend but with this one it does blend well but it just takes a little bit of time. I know with Pony which I feel like she's like the model for the Etude House Tom and Jerry collection. I know Pony love using sponge like this to apply her foundation and I can see why because it actually blends really nicely and great for those who have dry skin because it just it doesn't cling on to your dry patches when you apply your foundation rather than using a foundation brush you know but yeah I use it I think it's okay but I would just use it more for my concealer. Eyebrow mascaras, there's two here. One is Tom Brown and one is Jerry Brown. Now with Tom Brown, the grey one here is supposed to like have that theme of Tom's um, hair colour which is like a grey tone brown. So this one for me is a little bit too light for me. I was using the Jerry one which is the Jerry Brown and it's so it's like a dark brown like Jerry's hair color which suit me and also suit me this time because of my hair color but I feel like usually I would have like really dark um, brown hair or like black hair so if I were to change my hair color again then Jerry brown wouldn't suit me at all because it is leaning towards like a medium brown rather than a dark brown so if only they can release a little bit more but I can see where they're coming from because they're trying to have that whole Tom and Jerry theme where one is like light gray and one is like light gray brown and one is like medium brown so in regards of the mascara I have tried Etude House one before and they're really great and it's great timing because my eyebrows tend to drip down my eyebrows hair I mean so having this actually helps maintain the shape and just lift my eyebrow hair up a little bit more so I definitely lean towards Jerry Brown more. Now next are the single shadows so there's like 
10 of them and I calculated, if I'm not wrong, there are at least 5 shimmer slash glitter and then there are 5 matte. Now again with Tom, he's like the cool tone side and then Jerry is the warm tone and I'll put a picture of like Pony's um, makeup look side by side so you can see that she did with the Tom, she did like a cool look and then Jerry she did the warm look and at the moment I am wearing mainly Jerry's eyeshadow because it's more warm tone. Now with Tom, there are a lot of like <clears throat> pastel pink color which not which is not really my shade like if I were to mix it with other eyeshadows that I have that are like pink undertone it would suit me a bit more but actually having this in the collection I think it's okay it's a little bit too light for me because I tend to go for a deeper color hence why I lean towards um, Jerry one a little bit more so at the moment I'm just holding six because there are four of the favorite that I want to mention to you soon but before that I will show you guys like the um, eyeshadow palette that it comes with as well or like you can get it um, you can get it not it comes with I got it separately but this one you can put like four colors in here and it comes with a really nice mirror however I didn't put any at the moment because I was choosing which one I really want to put in there so once I've decided I will put it in here but I think I have punched a hole yep there is like a hole in the back here for the single shadow and then you can just push it out and then the single shadow is supposed to come out and then you can put it in the palette. Now four of my favorite colors are here and I use four of this for this eyeshadow look so I'll go through it quickly for you. So the first shade one is Core OR211 Soul Mate and this one is a beautiful orangey pink shade color like a matte shade so I just use this for my crease area and then just blending out with my blending brush and then going over as a base color I use OR209 so another orange undertone color now this one has like a very fine shimmer in it so it's not that obvious but a little bit of shimmer when you do put it on your eyes and this one is like a beautiful like golden orangey shade and then after that what I did was I did like a halo effect for the eyes and I used the darker shade that they have in here which is like a matte beautiful matte medium brown called BR426 which I believe is like their only brown shade matte color in this collection and that's just putting this in the inner part of my eyes and the outer part and then after that going over with this beautiful beautiful nice goldy bronzy glitter shimmery shape which feels very squeeze like squishy and spongy when actually using it with your finger and this one is BR433 and then just apply on the middle of my eyes so those are the four of my favorite colors that I really love and again their colors are pretty pigmented I'm actually very surprised with the pigmentation of this I heard that there are people that prefer using the single shadow over like you know the play color eyes palette but for me personally I still like both of them yeah, because I don't really often go for a single shadow from Etude House. I usually go for like a play color eyes one. Like all of these colors here, they are okay, but they are not really the colors I go for. But I mean, I still need to play around with them a little bit more because their colors are pretty nice and very pastel-like for me for what you can see from the swatches and you know seeing it on Pony's eyes just make me want to explore a little bit more but those four colors are my favorite. Next are uh, blushes which are so adorable so this is Tom and this is Jerry and I can't I don't think I can hold all four of them but I will show you guys like a close-up again with you know Jerry it leans towards like the cool tone blush and with this one it's like a duo now what I find with this one is I wanted to swatch it on my arms for you guys and it doesn't really pick up the finger swatches applying on the arm however it picks up on the face but it's not that obvious on camera so unfortunately I don't have close-up swatches for you guys but all I can do is show you guys how each blushes look like on camera and I feel like with the blushes I actually like all of them in a different way like the even though the Jerry one is cool tone it doesn't seem too cool tone on my yellow skin like it feels pretty okay and it's not like your typical western blushes as I always say for all Korean blushes it's pretty pigmented enough but also leaning towards more the natural side which I tend to go for because I'm not the type that usually use blushes but if I do you use 
these blushes I don't want it to be the center of my face attention or the center of the attention it's more like my eyes so having like nice like lighter shades like this is perfect so with Jerry there is like two blushes here and they lean towards more like the pink and purple undertone side with Jerry's one it leans towards more of the orange one which surprisingly I tend to go towards orange blushes now ever since I used the 3CE blushes like I just decided to try more orange one because I really like them so at the moment I am wearing OR201 on my face and I really love the turnout of it because you can see that orange um, like blush hopefully on the camera a little bit but at the same time it's very natural and blends really nicely with my bronzer as well along with the blusher it you can also get like this etude house blush which I thought at first when I first got this I was like okay it does look very slim but there are two methods where you can apply this blusher first you can actually swirl around like this which I did and then just apply on your face or some people like to just go down like this or like dab and then you just dab it on your face. I prefer my first method, swirling around, because then I get both of the colors mixed together and applied on my face. But really, it's really up to you guys. And with the blush, it's blush brush, blush brush, blush brush. Oh my god, with this brush, it's actually pretty good. And I can see why they have a smaller one because obviously the blush is the smaller size so if you want if you want to swirl around it's much more easier so i like the rounded tip of this lastly will be the lippies and these are the etude house colorful lip tint yep colorful tattoo tint now i actually previously owned some of the colorful tattoo tint but i never really got around to trying them so i decided to give them away and so when tom and jerry got this out i was like okay I'm gonna give it a try this time and surprisingly I really like it it is very smooth it's supposed to be long-lasting and it's supposed to be obviously moisturizing as well and the pigmentation is amazing at first I thought it would lean towards much more of the sheer side but actually applying it's actually pretty good and one swipe is actually pretty pigmented and you can actually build up as well however for me with this one I prefer just having one swipe and just have a little bit of that blur effect on the top so yeah so far this is actually impressed me and I've used one of the shade PK003 just before and that lasted for about 3-4 hours so I think that's okay um, obviously you have to touch up and doesn't cling onto any of my dry patches so four colors here and obviously there's two cool and two warm so the first shade is OR203 and this one leans towards more of the coral pink side next is the PK003 which I absolutely love and this one has a hint of brown undertone but also it's like a pink shade which I have to choose four of the out of all these four it would definitely be PK003 next two are actually red shades so first one is RD306 and this is like a strawberry red color and then the last one is RD307 which is what I have right now and this is like a raspberry red color so overall all these colors are beautiful but if I have to pick one it would definitely be PK003 so that's it for my full collection review I'm actually very impressed with majority of this like I like the eyeshadows I like the lip product I like the blusher like you know even the mascara I love it a lot so I'm actually very impressed with this collection and I had no regrets getting most of this and we it for you guys but yeah if you guys have seen this collection or have tried it out let me know your thoughts down below or let me know what products you are interested in from this collection and I'll put the link down below where I got all this collection from but again I love this so much reminds me of my childhood I just yeah and do you guys like my cat headband? Try to find a brown one, but I can't find it. So yeah, and I try to match it with like my yellow top. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about any of these products, put it down below and I'll answer for you guys. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.